Right, welcome to the next stage in the scrap challenge and today I want to have a look at the stay and slider system that I want to put in place. Now I'm intending to use this system for an element of training um, and consequently I want to have a stay um, in place. If it was just for, for me and, and my wife then I probably wouldn't bother um, but I want the ability to have people understand what it means to stand a bell but I also want them to understand what it means when a stay breaks. So I've been thinking about how I can achieve this and I've come up with a, a potential plan which is to fit a slider onto the bottom of the frame here which you can see in a plan view that basically is pivoted on the uh, steel channel on one side and will actually move between two blocks that we bolt down uh, in the channel as a normal um, slider would be. Then we place a stay onto the centre of the wheel that is reasonably, reasonably sturdy. Um, we put a pivot uh, point which would just be a coach screw or a bolt um, into the center point but then towards the edge of the wheel so there's a reasonable amount of force uh, applied to it we drill a hole through the stay and through the shroud the idea being that we can put in um, something that will break either a, a plastic peg or a dowel or something like that so if this when the the wheel comes round it picks up the slider comes across to to the uh, the far side and still hits it. It was the dowel that breaks and not the actual stay itself because I don't want to be uh, replacing stays every two minutes. Um, so I thought if I had this with a breakable point that would just shear off. So as I say, I can print something in plastic 3D um, or alternatively use something like a, a simple wooden dowel. Because I put it at the shroud position to replace it all I have to do is knock out the um, the old the broken piece out of both the shroud and the um, uh, the stay and push another dowel in and off you go so that's my thought um, I think it will work my only concern I need to go and do some checks to see how much clearance I can have on the stay as it comes round um, at this point here and make sure that it's not going to hit our pulley wheel uh, or the, sorry the centre axle for the pulley wheel um, as it comes round. So that's the plan. Um, I'm going to go and find some materials, um, get a drill out and uh, we'll make a stay and slider system. Right, I've got a piece of timber here which I can use as a slider and that's basically going to be pivoted on the far side so it will move left and right like that. I'm going to put these blocks uh, on the ends so that it will, will stop. I can just drop a, a, a zeb in might actually cut that down, cut that into two because we only need a very small block on here. Um, but for the purposes of this, I'll just drop these in. And the beauty is of course that we can move these forwards and backwards as we need to. Put another one in, in an equivalent spot.
saying that gives us a stop point. Um, we can put another uh, big washer at that end uh, to lift this up a little bit and then it will move between these two. Obviously, just need to cut that down a little bit. Um, if I measure what I need here, which will be 45 millimeters, uh, sorry, 45 centimeters, uh, 450 mil. Uh, that will work if I just round the end off on the other side as well. And then we have to consider the stay. Now, as the wheel comes round, on back stroke, the stay on here, if it's attached to the front, will need to be about 16, 15 mil, I can just get away with 15 mil, um, uh, sorry, 15 centimeters, 150 mil proud of the, the shroud. So I'm looking for a stay that's going to be something like, something like five, 500 mil would be uh, more than adequate for that. And I've got um, some thin stuff here, which potentially I think I can use as a stay. It will tend to, I think, break um, a dowel quite easily. And the pivot point is going to be at the center or towards the center with a, um, uh, with a dowel point somewhere in the shroud here. So at the end, because that gives the maximum amount of leverage and also allows me to punch out the uh, any broken dowels. So we'll go cut down the, um, the piece of timber for the stay, uh, uh, sorry for the slider, make up a, uh, a stay and then we can fit that to the wheel and see what happens.
Right, we've got uh, a couple of problems here. One of them, I mean the slide is fine, that's not going to be a, a problem, but the problem is actually um, twofold. One, I've got a bolt at the position here that I want the slider. I mean obviously the rope's just tied here at the moment, there was going to be a garter hole put in here. Um, but that bolt, if I put the, uh, the stay into position so it works like that, obviously that bolt is going to be an issue um, because it will trap the slider. Uh, and also I've got a problem in that that's the length of the slider. When it comes around to this point, I'm now hitting this bar. So I'm going to have to move this bar to, uh, to the end um, so that it doesn't uh, catch that. So I need to make those couple of changes now. Um, and I have to consider what to do with this. I'll either have to countersink this particular bolt into the uh, um, into into the uh, shroud and then or into this this timber this chipboard and then chop off the bolt so it's it's almost flush so it's not going to have any effect. Um, might be the easiest thing to do. Um, anyway, I'll uh, I'll get on with those and then we can come back and have another look in a moment. And there we have problem number two. Uh, when it comes around here, we're going to hit that socket. It's too close to the wall. So, uh, we now need to look at reversing this and I'm putting it on the other side. No, it's not going to go past the beam. Ah, so we need a rethink now. Okay, so after a, an awful lot of fiddling, um, what I've done is I've created a stay rail, uh, a slider rail, um, which I've mounted higher, and then I've used these stops to actually catch the, the slider when it gets to the end. So that's very similar to what you'd have in a normal belfry. Um, I put a notch into the slider so that it, it actually is reasonably straight when it hits because the, the pin I'm using is actually a, um, uh, a brown raw plug um, or wall plug. So it has the ability to, to break and I'm sure you have break, broken a few of them this afternoon. Um, but that will allow it to as a normal slider 
does push it out a little bit. I can't quite work out why that is, um, but I'll I can fiddle around and tinker with that. But the basic slider system is now operational. Uh, so yeah, that's the end of this section on stays and sliders. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is to drill the garter hole and make the um, pieces to fit on the uh, outside uh, to stop wear on the rope um, and that'll be in the next video.